Hi y'all, she was seven, I'm back. Okay, so today's topic is gonna be a little bit tough for some of y'all ladies, and I'm sorry. We gotta go there, okay? We just we gotta go there. Okay, so today's topic is why some women will never get married. Okay? There's a few reasons, okay? And I know a lot of y'all are gonna say, oh, those independent women that you know don't need a man, da da da. They'll never get married. But there's also another set of women that will never get married either. Okay, hold on one second. Let me see. Okay, yeah, I was too close. These type of women are the women who keep making the same mistakes over and over and that don't learn from them. Okay? These are the kind of women who will... Sorry, I'll interruption. Who will keep making the same exact mistake over and over, listening to the same thing over and over, dealing with the same man over and over, the same type of man over and over, and falling for the same tricks over and over. And they will never learn, okay? Part of the reason is because they don't love you, love themselves and they don't value themselves. So they're constantly seeking approval from other people, from men, uh, and they don't realize or they don't see the mistake that they're making at the time because they're not looking at it from a point of view of self-love okay these kind of women hardly ever get married because when a man sees a woman who doesn't love herself all he sees is opportunity okay he sees opportunity to use her he sees opportunity to get what he wants out of her to to uh probably live off of her for a while to probably get her to do things that uh, the type of woman he will marry won't do for him. So when you are like in a situation where you're uncomfortable doing something, but you are doing it to keep a man, that's sign number one, that you're not probably going to be married to this person. Number two is if they have so many conditions in order to stay with you, or be with you or call you back if, if it's under condition many conditions you're not wife material to them you're just like plan C not even plan B okay if you love them or like them or give them more attention than they like love or give to you you're not wifey okay I'm just telling y'all um, because a man who meets wifey, he's her, or she's his number one. He's always calling her. He's always looking for her. He's always thinking of her. He's buying her gifts. He's doing all these things for wifey. Okay, for side for side chick or uh, C chick, I call her C chick because she's side chick to side chick. <sighs> she's an afterthought. She's... She she's the person that he goes to when side chick is mad or busy or uh, if he hadn't found wifey yet or something like that. OK, no, uh, the type of man that treats women like that don't really take them seriously. OK, now, if you want to be wife, you have to put demands out there. You got to have standards. You got to say no. You have to say no all the time. OK, that's a challenge. You have to be respectable looking. You can't have some crazy, outlandish, drama-filled past baggage, you know, that he has to put up with. If you have that and you're dealing with a man and he's promising you this and that, don't even believe him. Because most men aren't going to take that baggage as far as they can throw it, okay? Mm -mm. They might tell you this, but they're going to do the opposite. Um, I'm not joking. So... If you have all this baggage, all these mistakes in your past, a crazy past and stuff like that, and this man is telling you this, this and that, but he's doing the opposite, you have to look at that. You have to say, why is he doing this? Why? And he says something totally opposite. Because he's keeping you exactly where he wants you, so when he's ready to use you again, you're still there and vulnerable, okay? Y'all can't believe that stuff. If he doesn't treat you like number one, call you all the time every day, text you first thing in the morning, um buys you gifts and stuff you're not wife you know wifey so um believe me there are women or there is a woman that he will do that for you know and if it's not you 
then you're not wifey, okay? And in order to become this kind of woman, you have to have high standards, okay? And a lot of women will say, well, no, it's not about that. Yes, it is. You, you take a man and you put high standards on him, he's going to have to work for you, okay? And that's going to make it challenging to him. And then you're going to become an accomplishment to him and you're going to be the prize for him. You're not going to be like, uh, you know, something that he'll take or leave or you're not going to be somebody that's um, a servant to him. You're going to be his prize, what he fought for, you know. So if your man does not have to fight for you, if your man doesn't have to meet demands from you, you're probably not going to be wifey. OK, well, ask anybody who's married. Ask anybody who's married. They'll tell you the story. Well, I, I, when I met him, he wasn't, you know, da-da-da-da, and I made him step up, and, you know, you know, the story will be, go ask married couples how they met. Go ask married couples, you know, what was it about her that attracted you, da da da, da you know, and listen to them. Because it's not going to be, oh, my Instagram picture. It's not going to be, oh, um, I was the freakiest girl you ever met. It's not going to be any of that. It's not going to be, oh, I have a big booty. No, it's not going to be none of that. It's going to be, oh, she was she was wifey. She was perfect. She was bad. She she had this going on. She had that going on. She she was respectable. She was pretty. She was smart. I could take her home to my mom. She, you know, this, this, and that. You know, it's not going to be, oh, all, all my boys had sex with her. It's not going to be, oh, you know, sh she used to be, you know, um, I don't even know whatever she used to be this and that no it's not gonna be oh well she had five kids and I decided to step up to the plate it's not gonna be any of that okay just face it some of y'all have made so many mistakes that it's almost gonna be impossible for you to get married unless you try to marry somebody totally different than what you're attracted to okay because I'm gonna tell you my mom she had four kids and she remarried a lot, <laughs> but it wasn't the type of man that most people want to marry. I mean, they were older. Uh, they had money though. Uh, uh, you know, they were, they weren't as attractive, but they took care of her, you know? Uh, um, well, actually it was just one guy that did that. The rest were losers. <laughs> Uh, one guy did take care of her and her kids and da 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 which is one, one of her kids was me but she had to change her standard like if she wanted to remarry she couldn't say oh I want a cute guy that this this is this isn't that no she said okay I'm gonna take whatever is going to love me more you know I'm gonna take whoever loves me more than I love him and who can take care of me so if you're in those situations, you're going to have to switch your, your taste in men because you're not going to be able to get the same type of men that a single, respectable woman with no kids is going to be able to get, okay? It's just not going to happen, okay? You, I, when, I, when I met my husband, I was single. I, was, I had a degree. I have no kids. I look better than this. Like... I know a lot of people be making jokes. I'm old and I'm trying to give young people. Yes, I'm old and I'm damn proud to be this age. Some people didn't make it. Okay. <laughs> but when I was young, I could have anybody I wanted. Okay. Um, but I was very careful of the choices I made because I knew it would affect the rest of my life. I knew that it was, I didn't believe, you know what? First of all, I didn't believe in soulmates. I didn't believe, oh, this is the one for me. I didn't believe any of that. You know why? Because I choose who I want. I have a checklist, okay? <laughs> I had a checklist. I'm like, if you don't got this, 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 and that, uh-uh. I don't I didn't go by my feelings. I didn't I didn't let my heart lead me. Because the heart will get you into trouble. Because um, if it's not paired with your mind and your logic, you'll get in trouble every time. You know? Your heart can lead you to uh, love someone who's a total loser. Can't do nothing for you but drag you down. But your mind will take you to a winner who can only bring you up. Okay? And if you love yourself, your heart is for you. Your logic is for how you, you know, make decisions in love. Okay? So if you love, if you love yourself, 
you're going to choose the person who's best for you not who makes you feel good temporarily because feelings are temporary not who you think is going to be the perfect man for you because you have a connection of feeling no that's that doesn't always work because those feelings always change do you understand but the qualities in someone is pretty much set you find a responsible person they're probably always going to be responsible you find a person who's financially stable they know how to get financially stable you find a person who enjoys being with one person in a relationship they're probably always going to enjoy being with one more person in a relationship so when you pick a man make sure you pick their qualities not how you feel about them okay that's nature that's going to happen automatically between women and men there's always going to be chemistry you know but how are they going to be able to take care of you your kids your grandkids you know your future generations are y'all going to be able to live in a nice place a nice house are you going to be able to do all these things okay if if you don't choose a man on those type of you know mental questions in your head you're doing it all wrong and you probably are going to take a long time or forever to get married or you probably won't ever get married at all because you're not marriage minded when you choose men okay you choose men like many women that i talk to all the time they choose men based on stupid stuff like looks okay those looks are going to fade in a man looks can't pay the rent i've said that a thousand times unless you're a woman looks cannot pay the rent with a man okay all they can do is lay on your couch and play video games all day look pretty Stay there until you get home from work because you know you're the one that's going to be working if you're married. Pretty boy, right? So, looks, no. Don't go by looks. Go by intelligence, the ability to earn a living and provide for a family. Go by if he likes you more than you like him. If he honors you. If he's proud to be with you. If you're the prize. Go by that, okay? Don't go by the stupid stuff that you think is going to keep a man because that won't, Okay? If that man likes you and more than you like him, he ain't going nowhere, okay? So find a man like that. Uh, so so many women are have this fairy tale thing in their mind about marrying the perfect, handsome, uh, rich, da 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 man. You can't get that all rolled up into one unless you are that yourself or at least very beautiful, okay? Or he's blind. I don't know. But you're going to have to use your brain you're gonna have to instead of your heart all the time okay a lot of women say oh i'm i, I don't i'm not gonna name names and i do a lot of cons consulting with women about relationships but there are some women who are making business decisions uh to marry and that is the smartest thing in this day and age that a woman can do okay she knows her heart she knows she's been in love before as a teenager she knows this this, this and that but she's setting up her future. She's setting up her children's future, her grandchildren's future with the type of man she marries and ends up with, okay? So ladies think like that. When you lay down with a man, is this gonna be the man who's gonna set you up for the future? Set your kids up for the future? If you don't think so, if he don't got it already, he's probably never gonna get it and you're probably just what my mom used to call another notch in his belt, okay? That means you're just another one that got screwed over and left behind. Don't, mm, mm And I know a lot of these ladies say, well, he wanted to have a baby with me. He asked me for the baby. If he didn't ask you for your hand in marriage first, then obviously the baby was a trap so that you can't move up forward onto someone better because now you have his child and he'll always be connected with you, okay? I'm just saying because a lot of women get confused. If a man is asking you to have a baby before he's asking you to marry you're in the wrong relationship okay that's just dumb it's really dumb if you think about it why would he want to have a child with somebody he's not even married to when he can go and do the same thing to another woman and another woman and have many kids by many women he's not married to what makes you think he's gonna stay with you if he won't even marry you, you know so i'm just saying this because a lot of women need to hear this a lot of women need to hear this more than you think and it's pretty sad because i thought Women were smarter than this. I, I thought the job was smarter than this, you know? Look out for number one, always first. If you care about a man more than you care about yourself, 
you always gonna lose out okay so when a when a woman truly loves herself she's looking out for number one first and foremost that means she's not messing with a loser man who's gonna drag her down that means she's not trying to please somebody so they can stay because they are trying to please her so she stays okay no you gotta you have to flip the script ladies and if you're dating a man because he looks good and you think that he's your soulmate and stuff like that what if he dies then who, the, is, the, is that was that it are you gonna think that there's another so I, I say I don't believe in soulmates I believe in compatibility and I believe like you know people uh, have a lot of things in common they have a uh, chemistry they have attraction because think about it if there's only one person for you and you met them and then they die then what you're supposed to spend the rest of your life long miserable and there's no other person meant for you no that's that's bs that's why i said if you caught up so on sorry this person, i got cut off and my show came on so i had to take a break and a pause and come back the call blah, blah, blah. so what i basically wanted to tell y'all was think before you make a decision make decisions based on your future don't make a decision based on someone's potential and use your brain more than you use your heart because emotions and feelings are temporary decisions and choices are permanent okay i'll see y'all on my next video and i'm so sorry for the tough love but y'all needed it i'm sorry but y'all need to hear it all right bye